more than 2,500 years ago, somewhere in South Asia, there lived a child no more than eight years old. The problem was that he was a distracted child and could not focus his mind on his studies. A solution had to be found. Sveta Ketu came from a very learned family and it was not acceptable that he could not study. He was eventually sent to a boarding school to study with a learned guru. With his new guru, Sveta Ketu found his bearings and became a good student. After 12 years of studies, he returned home, a learned man. However, there was a problem. His father detected that he was very proud of his knowledge and abilities. His father pulled him aside and asked, Son, have you studied that thing through which everything becomes known? Sveta Ketu was speechless. He realized that he did not have the answer to this most fundamental question. His arrogance vanished in an instant. Immediately, Sveta Ketu begged his father for forgiveness and asked him to tell the answer to this most fundamental question. Sveta Ketu's father took him to the bank of a river, picked up some clay, and gave it to him. He asked, If you know and understand this clay, would you not know the essence of all pots? Sveta Ketu nodded. His father then picked up a piece of wood. And if you know wood, would you not know furniture in its essence? Once again, Sveta Ketu nodded. So, his father continued, the question arises, is there something that is the essence of everything? Seeing that Sveta Ketu had no answer, his father then said, the essence of everything, son, is God stuff. If you know and understand this, you will have understood the entire universe. Sveta Ketu was not convinced. He cried, but what is this God stuff? And how can I know it? Tvam asi, his father responded, and walked away. Tat tvam asi is Sanskrit and translates to you are that, which means that our own essence is God stuff itself. The search for understanding of the essence of everything lies not in the outside world, but within us. It suddenly dawned on Sveta Ketu that his consciousness, his awareness, and his intelligence arose from the very essence of the universe. He resolved that his goal from that moment forward should not be furtherance of his ego, but the realization of this deeper truth. Poets, prophets, mystics, and saints throughout the ages have hinted at the same insight. What did Jesus mean when he said, the kingdom of God is within? The poet and mystic Rumi also spoke of this idea. He wrote, knock and he will open the door, vanish and he will make you shine like a sun, fall and he will raise you to the heavens, become nothing and he will make you everything. Could it be that this idea of God stuff could simply be mystical speculation? Einstein showed that matter and energy were essentially equivalent. He spent the rest of his life working on a theory that would unify everything in the universe. This is now the holy grail of physics, to find the equivalence underlying everything. The journey of yoga is a journey into the realization of the unity of everything. Let us make this our life journey. Join us at My Life Yoga on Facebook.